Hey guys, what's going on? We're back with a brand new video, and today I'm going to be making a complete beginner's guide of Roblox Arsenal for you players who are just getting into Arsenal and need some help on learning how the game works. Let's get right into it. First of all, I'm going to explain how the standard mode works. Standard mode is the mode you're most likely going to be playing most of the time in Arsenal. In standard, there are two teams, and the first player to reach 33 kills wins. Every kill, your weapon alternates randomly and you get a random weapon, but every player has the same weapon order in that round. Every round's weapon order is different. So if you're in a round and the first weapon you get is the assault rifle, everyone else has the assault rifle as weapon number one, but then the next weapon is, let's say, a random pistol, and everyone else is going to get that same pistol for number two, but everyone's going to be at different places in the round. So as I said, the first person to 33 kills wins, and the, th the 32nd weapon is the golden knife. If you get a kill with the golden knife, then you can win. So that's the basics of how the mode works. The next thing I'm going to be talking about is that you actually run faster with your knife out. I know it might make a lot of sense to you guys, but a lot of people don't know this, and if I can help one person out, then why not say you do run faster with your knife than with your weapon. Some weapons let you run the same speed as the knife though. Some other weapons also let you double jump, which is really interesting. But um, uh, you run way faster with your knife out. So if you have a really heavy weapon and you're trying to traverse the map, you should definitely take your knife out. Just make sure you're not in vulnerable areas with your knife out. Also guys, some weapons have special abilities, such as this M16A2 here, which actually has a grenade launcher. So if you hold if you hit right click, it actually uses its special ability and it launches a grenade, which is really cool. So you can not only shoot, but you can also launch a grenade at your enemy. Um, but make sure to test out on different weapons. Some weapons have a special right click ability and some weapons do not. Alright guys, another example of the special right click ability that some weapons have is the pepper gun. Um, the pepper gun, it fires like this, you have to cock the hammer back every time you fire and this is about as fast as you can fire it. But if you hold down right click, it can be completely automatic, but I'd only recommend doing this at close range as the spread is high. And there you go, it's automatic if you hold down right click. The next thing I want to talk about, guys, is that some weapons in Arsenal actually have scopes. If you didn't know that you can hit right click and they'll scope into, but don't hold right click like other games. You just have to click right click and then it'll scope in. Um, but only some weapons have this, very few. I'd say about uh, one fifth of weapons have scope in ability. So, you know, I just test it out on weapons. Generally, if there's a physical scope on it, that you can see then it'll be able to scope in sometimes not though so just test out on different weapons and kind of learn as you go all right guys the last thing i want to talk about in this video is the menu screen how to navigate the menu so there's three main things on the menu the deploy which basically puts you into the team select menu where you can either spectate or choose a team to spawn in i'm not going to do that there's the locker where you can change what skins and characters you can use, um, you know, knives and kill effects. And then there's the shop where you can buy crates to get things to put on in your locker. So there's the main three things. Obviously, deploy makes you spawn in. And then there's three things down here, which are what badges you have inside of the Arsenal game. Then there's your settings, of course, and there's Twitter codes. I don't think you really need to know about those. Then there's, um, you can change the color of your entire arsenal thing, depending on what you find comfortable. I just stick with the blue, generally, or I do, um, the dark black, which I, I like. But, um, there's also contracts, which you can do these contracts, get certain amounts of kills for money, for bucks to buy stuff in the shop. And that's basically how you navigate everything. To equip a skin, you basically double cl click it. Um, you have to make sure to double click it though to equip it, otherwise it won't equip. And uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. 
anyways guys if you guys did enjoy make sure to like and subscribe and uh you know please share this video with your friends if you can i'm trying to grow the channel and it would help out a lot anyways i'll see you guys in the next video peace out bye